Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I have a perfume haul. I have about six fragrances to share with you. They are new to my collection. I'm very excited to share these with you because I did pick up some new scents. I also have some fragrances sent over to me, so I'm going to be going over them. So if you are new here and you love all things girly, welcome. That's all that I talk about on this channel is beauty, fragrance, body care. So if you love that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. I would love to have you back for my future uploads and with that said let's jump right into today's perfume <laughs> So I have been just stacking up fragrances in my little basket that I have. So all of the videos that I have been filming today are just new fragrances. I just finished doing a travel size haul. So I featured four travel sizes in that video. So I'm going to start off with two fragrances that were sent over to me by So Avant-Garde. I want to thank them so much for being so kind and sending over these fragrances. If you don't know about So Avant-Garde, they have a large collection of niche fragrances to choose from. They also offer samples as well for some of their fragrances so you could try them out before getting the full size. And I have a pretty good discount code with them where you get 20% off with the code Amy20. So I'm going to put the code on the screen for you guys. And I'm also going to be linking these fragrances in the description box. I have had so much luck with So Avant-Garde fragrances. I have loved all of the ones that have been sent over to me. Today's fragrances, I personally really love them. I don't like to tell people what is worth getting or not because what's expensive for one person might be super affordable for the next. So I'm strictly just talking about the actual fragrances, how they smell, how they perform, and you can make up your mind with that. But these two fragrances are beautiful. Now, I don't think that they're for this time of the year. I'm going to be saving these for spring and summer and for sure you will be seeing these come spring and summer because they just smell expensive. They're fruity, tropical, beautiful scents, but they smell so sophisticated and expensive. If you're looking for something more, like if you just don't like like designer fruity scents or you want something that has a little bit more complexity into it, these are gorgeous. So I'm going to start off with this first one. And this one is by Vicanto by Terenzi. And this is Dianuro. So here is the packaging for this one it's really really big i'm pretty sure that you can wear these during fall time as well but they just take me into like tropical paradise type of scent so here i mean these come packaged so beautifully here is the other box that is in there it's made out of like suede and here is the gorgeous bottle so the presentation is really, really beautiful. You're definitely getting a more luxurious experience with this. And I'm going to go ahead and read the main accords for this. But I wanted to show you the bottle first. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Here is the bottle. This is like a suede material. Really, really nice. This is my first fragrance from this house. I have never tried anything from this house. So I'm going to look up the main accords for this one. So the main accords are tropical, sweet, fresh, fruity, floral, white floral, woody, green, rose, and aquatic. Listen to these notes. The top notes are passion fruit, papaya, mango, pineapple, and neroli. Middle notes are water lily, lily of the valley, narcissus, Turkish rose, and the base notes are patchouli, leather, cashmere wood, oak moss, and sandalwood. That sounds so beautiful, right? So when I sprayed this, one thing came to my mind. Not everyone, like this is not a fragrance that I heard many people rave about, but if you love Dolce & Gabbana, the original one, the one with like the green juice inside, Dolce, that was like the one before all of the other flankers started coming out. This is that type of scent where you pick up florals. So the florals are already in there in the opening. You don't get like just that fruity blast. It's already all kind of like intertwined together, but you do get those tropical notes in there as well. So this is pretty much the only type of floral that I enjoy where it feels like dewy, like, you know, in the morning when you wake up and the grass is still kind of like wet, that kind of like refreshing dewy scent 
imagine florals kind of like with that aquatic almost fresh type of scent that's what i get with this this is super duper feminine and it really reminds me of that fragrance it takes me to that fragrance which that was one of my signature fragrances back in like 2016 but i feel like this one is definitely going to stick around longer because it does feel a little bit stronger so i am hoping that the performance is better than that fragrance because that would be next level type of thing it just smells very very feminine a little floral along with some fruit but it's not overly fruity either it's sexy it's really really nice for like spring and summer so my first impression with this is i am loving it i'm definitely going to be taking this out spring and summer for sure and i'm hoping if it sits for a little bit it will be even better when those seasons come along but I mean, this is just really, really nice. So that is the first one. Very excited about that one. And it's just beautiful. If you love that type of fragrance that I mentioned from Dolce & Gabbana, this is beautiful. This next one to me is a little bit more special than the first one. I feel like the first one, it's really, really nice, but I wouldn't label it as like a must have. But this one is just beautiful, especially if you like a certain DNA that I'm going to talk about. I like this one better than a fragrance that I have had in my wish list for a while. And this one is from Plume Impression and this is Pop Heart. So here is the packaging for this one. So it's in here and here is the bottle. And this bottle is really nice too. Both of those bottles are really heavy, sturdy. They feel, this is super duper heavy. And even the cap is very weighted. Really, really nice. So I'm going to read the main accords for this one. So the main accords for this fragrance are fruity, sweet, caramel, vanilla, musky, powdery, tropical, and fresh. The the notes for these fragrances i feel like this one you could probably wear in fall time as well like i can definitely get away with this one right now so the top notes are pineapple strawberry and apple middle notes are raspberry magnolia and rose and the base notes are caramel vanilla and musk if i had to choose between the two that i got i think i would go with this one 100 percent just because it. I pretty much got a fragrance that I wanted and I got the better version of it. So what I'm talking about is Zerjoff and this is La Capital. I have been stalking this fragrance. I always wanted to smell it because the notes sounded so beautiful. It has like strawberry. I'm gonna read the notes for La Capital so that you can see because this is considered kind of like people are saying they smell similar. So La Capital has notes of strawberry, caramel, peach, and labdanum, leather, saffron, amber, ginger, rose, bourbon, vanilla, and benzoin. So they have kind of similar notes. You know when you see a fragrance, you've never even smelled it, but you think that you want it so bad. That's how I kind of felt about this one. And then when I actually sprayed it, there's notes in here that I don't like. So I am happy that I never try to blind buy this fragrance or kind of let myself go by la capital is kind of hyped in my opinion like a lot of people really enjoy that one when i saw that i received this fragrance and that they are very similar in the way they smell i got very very excited but i don't enjoy la capital i really don't i think this one is much better just because it doesn't have that benzoin note in there also the leather really to me gives it like this rough texture in the fragrance and kind of the amber the leather the ginger and the benzoin it's doing something where it almost smells medicinal to me and a little spicy in like a way that i don't like it i just don't like the way that it smells now pop heart is everything that la capital has without those weird notes in there. So if you've had the same experience with La Capital and you wish that it was a little bit more smooth, a little sweeter, and you kind of don't like that leather touch in there, this one is just, it's smooth. I get the caramel, I get the strawberry in here. The pineapple is super duper juicy and ripe. It's really, really nice. This one I think can be worn fall. It can be worn spring and summer. I wouldn't necessarily wear it during winter. And there's also something in here that makes me think a little bit of Hermetica's Appear, which I have been raving about so much recently, where it's kind of like that fresh, 
crisp type of smell like for fall time and definitely for spring and summer it smells so good especially when it dries down that caramel the vanilla there's musk in here but it's not too musky it's smooth it's well blended i definitely love this one now i am going up based off of first impressions and kind of smelling it like on my hand or on a tester strip i haven't worn it completely but smelling it i really really love this so i will be definitely updating you guys if anything changes in the future but these smell really really nice so thank you so much to so avant-garde for sending these over if you own these fragrances leave it in the comment section like what your thoughts are on them and how you enjoy this fragrance i would love to hear your thoughts on these i also wanted to give quick mentions to these that were sent over to me from pacifica i received a box with a lot of different um, skincare body care makeup and they sent me two fragrances and i really love them too i received silver moon which is right here and i'm literally going from like a niche side to totally affordable you can find this at target type of vibes but you know how i am i if it smells good i'm gonna talk about it, it doesn't really matter if it costs five dollars or if it costs way more than that so this one the main accords are vanilla almond nutty sweet fruity powdery and warm spicy sounds right up my alley and the notes are vanilla almond and spices so beautiful beautiful scent this smells so good. This smells similar to kind of like that fresh cream warm cashmere type of scent. Not saying that they're dupes, but those cozy bedtime type of vibes. Perfect for going to bed. Perfect for at home, running errands every day. You just smell yummy. It smells gourmand. It smells so, so good. I can't wait to wear this. This is definitely something I would just have on my tray to just wear on a daily basis and just splash it on because it smells really good. It's cozy, almondy, but the vanilla smooths it out. It's not too dry and the spices are not too much. It's the perfect amount. So this is one that I really love. Definitely recommend if you haven't tried these fragrances. It kind of just puts me in the mindset of like warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. I'm seeing here in Fragrantica that they're saying also like hypnotic poison from Dior. And I agree, those types of scents. It does not have that Play-Doh vibe in my opinion at all. It's just very comforting, gourmand, vanilla and almond scent. Definitely love this. So thank you so much to Pacifica for sending this over. And they also sent me Island Vanilla. The main accords for this one are vanilla, sweet, honey, powdery, and floral. Notes are vanilla, white honey, tea, fruity notes, and jasmine. So this one is super nice too. I really like this one when I sprayed it. Yeah, this one is definitely more girly to me. Not as cozy as this one is. This one's a little bit more feminine. I pick up a little bit more of the floral, but it's not too much either. And it's a beautiful vanilla. It's smooth as well, perfect for every day. This one could be like a year round vanilla because it's not too thick, it's not too heavy. And it has florals, it has a little bit of those fruity notes to round it out. So really nice fragrances, they're affordable. I definitely recommend them, especially if you are a vanilla lover you would really love these two they smell really nice and then now moving on to the fragrances that i purchased myself and one of them i don't even know what came over me to buy this one because i told you guys that i wasn't really interested in buying this one like it didn't really excite me too much but then i kind of started thinking what if i miss out and then it just like disappears and i won't be able to get my hands on it and i ordered a bottle and that is the latest release from valentino this is valentino donna born in roma pink pee pee i told my husband like i cannot wait to say <laughs> to say that because it just no matter how serious you try to be it just sounds funny I was reading reviews on Fragrantica and people were really getting into it over the whole pee pee situation. Like there were people calling people immature and they were going back and forth on it. It was a whole thing. I was just laughing at the whole thing. Like it's supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken, a shade of pink. I did read about it. I don't remember exactly like the exact details, but it's like a shade of pink. So that's why they named it that. But here is the bottle so it's definitely a huge bottle i don't usually go for big bottles like this but you guys i'm so happy i decided to get this because so far i'm really really liking it now i have not gave this a full wear so i cannot sit here and say that i'm obsessed with it or anything like that but i have sprayed it 
several times on myself while I'm at home. I've sprayed it on tester strips and this is giving me what I wanted Born in Roma to give me without the peppery, weird throat scratchy type of feels that I get with the original Donna Born in Roma, which I believe has pink pepper. This has that same exact sweetness that Born in Roma has, like that really girly sweetness, but without that peppery weird thing that's over it at least for me i know that many people love born in roma but if you have the same problem as me i don't think that you will have a problem with this one it's sweet there's a sweetness to it very likable it does take me back to the original donna born in roma it definitely has the dna of it just simplified and sweet without that pepper so I'm going to read the main accords for this one. The main accords are vanilla, citrus, white floral, sweet, and powdery. And the top note is Calabrian Mandarin, middle note is orange blossom, and the base note is bourbon vanilla. I just pick up a very sweet vanilla. I do pick up a lot on the orange blossom. The citrus is really nicely mixed in where it's not obviously citrus, but it helps to make it like a little fresh and juicy. I find it youthful. I find it very feminine, flirty, super pretty. I cannot wait to start wearing this. Like this is definitely like a party type of scent to me, like holidays as well. I have been getting some fragrances that just make me think of the holidays. So when that time comes around, I'm not gonna know what to wear because I have been getting a few fragrances that really fit like that. Dressed up, heels, glitter, makeup, just all of that for the holidays. Like this to me makes me think about that. It's really feminine, really pretty, sweet. So sweet that it's almost like a sugary sweet for a little bit, but then when it starts to dry down, it's more like vanilla. It's very soft and pretty. So I'm really, really happy that I picked this one up. So I wanna hear your thoughts. If you did pick this one up, what do you think about it? Are you loving it? I definitely prefer this one over the original Born in Roma. Now I'm thinking I'm not going to try the Born in Roma because this one's doing what I wanted Born in Roma to do. So I'm very happy that I have it. The bottle to me is actually really pretty. I know people wanted it to be more like opaque, but I like to know how much fragrance I have left in my bottle. So I really, really like this color. I think it's really pretty. For the last fragrance, I picked up the new Dolce & Gabbana Devotion fragrance. This one is beautiful. The bottle is really cute and dainty. It looks really, really girly, but not in a childish way. I think it looks really, really pretty. The main accords are vanilla, white floral, sweet, powdery, and citrus. When I saw the notes of this one, I kind of knew I was taking a risk with it because I'm not the biggest fan of lemony vanillas. So the top note is candied lemon, middle note is orange blossom, and the base note is vanilla. And when I scrolled down and I saw kind of like what perfume this reminded people of, and I saw the Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris, I was like, ooh, that's, if that is like that one, I'm not gonna like it because that one smelled like straight up Fruit Loops to me. And I just don't wanna smell like Fruit Loops. It was just not, there was nothing about that fragrance that I enjoyed. But then I saw people comparing it to Lyra from Surge Off. And I was very, very curious because I do have a sample of Lyra. I find it's a nice fragrance. So I wanted to see what Dolce & Gabbana has to offer kind of like in that category. So when I tell you, I also prefer this one over the Lyra. Maybe I just don't have like a super niche nose. This one does start off very lemony in the opening. Like at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it, but that starts to come down and the vanilla starts to come out more. It gets more gourmand, almost like fluffy, sweet vanilla. It's so smooth and just, it's yummy. It's a really, really yummy scent. And I prefer it over Lyra because orange blossom tends to be way more smooth to my nose, way more doable. It has a little bit of a sweetness, almost like a syrupiness to it. So in here, it just, it just smells, it's a little airy. It's not super thick. I don't want you to think like girl of now thickness. No, it's like a airy, fluffy, 
vanilla with a little bit of lemon in there, like a lemon cake, but it smells so good, so smooth, very gourmand. So this is for the gourmand lovers. If you're not a gourmand lover, you're probably not going to enjoy this fragrance. I was talking to one of you guys on my Instagram where I posted about this fragrance and you were telling me how you thought of this layering combo and I feel like this layering combo is kind of like what everyone is so excited to try and that is pairing it with Bath & Body Works Ice Lemon Pound Cake. These two are probably going to be so beautiful together so I'm very excited to give that a try as well. Yeah, the lotion paired with this is going to be beautiful. To me it's way smoother and nicely blended than Lyra, in my opinion. I know a lot of people are saying that they already own Lyra or that they prefer Lyra. I just feel like this one is just smooth and it might be basic to some people, but I feel like sometimes basic is all you need. Like I feel like it's very comforting, gourmand, smooth, so good. It smells really good. It smells like you just don't wanna stop smelling your hand, but I will say it could be a polarizing fragrance and it's one that I definitely recommend smelling before buying a full-size bottle. Like going to maybe Ulta or somewhere where they have a tester and smelling it first because this one is either you love it or you're not gonna like it. Like if you're not into the whole lemony vibe, you might find this very off-putting. So it does dry down with less of that lemon though and then it just turns into this orange blossomy, vanilla, soft, sugary gourmand. So I'm very excited about this one as well. Very happy with it. it. Smells really good. And I love the bottle and everything about it. So those are the purchases that I have made recently for perfumes. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances. I'm very, very excited to know. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I will see you guys in the next video.